I've got to play Celes recently. And I'm gonna say, I loved every minute of it. The story is great, the art style is gorgeous, and the soundtrack is one of the best I've ever heard in any game. And let's not forget about the gameplay. For me, it's the best platformer ever. Even though Sonic 3 and Knuckles will always be my favorite game, Celeste has objectively better gameplay. Controlling Madeline just feels so good. The game is hard, sometimes even insanely hard. It took me 30 hours to get all Steam achievements, but it was worth it. Celeste is a game about climbing a mountain and fighting with personal struggles such as depression and anxiety. But we are not going to talk about confronting problems in this video. No, we will focus on the mountain, the Celeste mountain, because this game got me thinking. How tall is Celeste? as every sane and normal person would do, I decided to google it. And surprisingly enough, the mountain from the game has real life counterpart. It is also called Mount Celeste, and it is located near Vancouver in Canada. So yeah, we have our answer. The Celeste is 2045 meters high. Oh, okay. It turns out that in-game counterpart is over one kilometer higher. So I guess it won't be that easy. But maybe someone did a video about it on YouTube. No? Fine. I'll do it myself. So, how on earth am I going to estimate the height of this mountain? First, let's gather some data about our piece of rock. According to game devs, Mount Celeste is located somewhere near Vancouver, in Canada. Postcards preceding every level and Fio's Instagram confirm this information. So yeah, let's check out Fio's Instagram. Fio under stars. On his profile I found few interesting pictures, but nothing that could help me define mountain's height. End screens weren't helpful either. Then I looked at the main menu. It shows a beautiful model of Celeste Mountain, with every location from the game. But I couldn't use any of this to estimate the height of the mountain. Next I decided to analyze Madeline's journey. Our protagonist, Madeline, starts her hike at the foot of the mountain where she meets old woman, Celia or Granny. Call her whatever you like. Then she crosses a collapsing bridge and goes to Forsaken City, where first chapter of the game takes place. There, Madeline meets Theo, and we learn from their conversation that some mega corporation started building this city, but nobody wanted to live there. And that's why this place is abandoned. After some more climbing, jumping, and dashing, our Madeline finally reaches Celeste Memorial. The next chapter takes place in Old Sight. In the ruins, she first encounters part of herself, or just Badaline. But that's not really important for our discussion. Madeline goes through old site and ends chapter near the information center. In chapter 3, our protagonist moves to old decrypt celestial resort 
It is run by a ghost, Mr. Oshiro. Throughout the exploration, Madeline finds some notes that tell the story associated with the shutdown of the hotel. And after some more very important plot points, Madeline ends up being chased by Monster Oshiro. And then they fall from the roof. Next is chapter 4, called Golden Reach. It introduces a lot of new game mechanics. But they are not important for our discussion. So we can move to the end of the chapter. It ends with Madeline and Theo riding a gondola over a giant ravine. They end up at the entrance of Mirror Temple, an ancient temple built long before the Forsaken City and Old Site. This is probably my favorite chapter, I really love the feeling and music of it. So I will just leave you with this montage. <laughs> After escaping this old temple, Theo and Madeline have a very nice conversation. And after that, Madeline decides to ditch Madeline. And then this happens. So how the heck did she survive this fall? She fell down like 2 kilometers straight. No water can save you from this height. And she was also impaled on the spikes along the way. Anyway, Madeline ends up in the cave filled with beautiful crystals, water and whatever this is. Then she confronts Madeline in epic boss fight. reconcile with her. Mm -hmm. 
This results in Madeline getting access to a double dash and it also makes her hair pink. And now, we reached the most important chapter for this video. Chapter 7, the summit. Madeline takes off her backpack and for the second time goes for the summit. But this time, Madeline is here to help. It is very long chapter, because we have to go through all previous locations. We start by the exit of the cave from last chapter. The checkpoint here is called Zero Meters. Then we move to the next checkpoint. 500 meters, which is a forsaken city at the dawn. Then we have Old Site at 1000 meters, Celestial Resort at 1500 meters, Golden Reach at 2000 meters, and Mirror Temple at 2500 meters. But the last section is the most important one, for us at least. It's 3000 meters. The game straight up tells us that we are at 3000 meters right now. So all we have to do is calculate the distance from this point all the way to the top of the mountain. And fortunately for us, there are no cutscenes here. Because the thing is that between each section from previous chapters, there is this weird segment where Madeline talks with Badeline. And the cutscene plays until you skip the text, which makes it impossible to estimate the distance between this point And this point. Fortunately, there are no such scripted events after 3000 meters milestone. But even if we count every single pixel of this entire section, how are we going to convert it into meters? Well, the easiest thing to do will be to check canonical height of Madeline. In-game sprite is 17 pixels tall, so if we can compare it to her actual height on Celeste Vicky... Okay. Maybe if Theo has canonical height, we can compare his 22 pixel tall sprite to Madeline's. And then... No? Okay. I guess I will have to calculate Madeline's height as well. So, how are we going to convert units? How many centimeters in real life is one pixel in Celeste? Well. The easiest way to find out would be to compare something from Celeste that has real life counterpart and also has known dimensions. Enter the intro car. What is the intro car, you may ask? It is just Madeline's car and can be seen in the prologue. In chapter 8, the core, which takes place about a year after the main story, and also in last DLC chapter, Farewell. We also know from Celeste Vicky that intro car strongly resembles 1993 Honda Accord wagon. Madeline's car is 17 pixels high and she's also 17 pixels tall, which means we just have to google some info about this Honda to find out how high is our Madeline. Great, so it turns out that the canonical height of Madeline is 53.2 inches or 135 centimeters. Hmm. That just doesn't feel right. It means that either this is some huge car or Madeline is a midget. This car is very sus. So we can either stick to this data and assume that Madeline is indeed a midget or we can find a different reference point instead. Fortunately for us, there is this payphone at the end of chapter 2. We can use its real-life counterpart to estimate in-game phone's height. But this one is more tricky than intro car, because we don't know the exact model of this particular payphone, we have to apply general rules of public phones to this one. According to this document, public phones should be installed at height of 122 cm or less, to allow convenient usage for everybody. Let's apply this rule to payphone from the end of chapter 2. Our payphone is 20 pixels high, but let's say that the height of convenient usage is located on our 13th pixel. That means 30 in-game pixels equals 122 centimeters. 
We can also verify this one by looking on chapters to end screen. Or actually we could, if Madeline's feet were visible on this picture. But unfortunately they aren't, so we have to move on. Let's find some more reference points. Like this sign in Forsaken City. According to information I found on USA Traffic Signs website, road signs should be installed around 7 to 8 feet above the ground to ensure better visibility and make them harder to vandalize. This sign is 33 pixels high, but it is installed on 16 pixel, which makes it 7 feet or 213 centimeters tall. As our next reference point, I'm going to use doors located in Celestial Resort. According to ICB, commercial doors should be at least 80 inches tall, which translates to 203 centimeters. Okay, we've gathered some data, let's put it in some nice table and see what we can do with all of this information. As you can see, Celeste isn't too consistent with appropriate proportions of in-game objects, but I think we can work with what we've got. To make things simpler, I'm going to calculate average height of one pixel using information listed above. So after some very simple calculations, our average height of one pixel is 9.9 .9 centimeters. So yeah, we finally got our result. Now we can calculate Madeline's height, even though it is not necessary to estimate height of the mountain, but I thought it would be a cool thing to do, since she doesn't really have a canonical height. Madeline's in-game sprite is 17 pixels tall, which means that according to our assumptions, she is 168 centimeters tall. Theo, on the other hand, is 22 pixels high, or 19, if we exclude his hair from our calculations. This means that our boy from Seattle is 188 centimeters tall, which kind of makes sense if you look at the photo of Madi and Theo together. But if we add his hair, he's whopping 218 centimeters tall, and that's a bit weird. So we move on to the part of Madeline. Madeline is basically a clone of our protagonist, so she is also 168 centimeters tall. And surprisingly enough, Granny's sprite also consists of 17 pixels, which makes her the same height as Madeline and Madeline. Okay, but enough of this digression. We have all data we need, so how tall is Celeste exactly? And how the hell am I going to count every pixel of the summit? Well, counting every pixel while playing chapter 7 would be a chore, so I found different, easier and more precise way. Thanks to Celeste modding community, I was able to use LEN Map Editor, which allowed me to view the entire level and check the amount of tiles of every room. Then all I had to do is multiply the height of the room by 8, since every tile consists of 8 pixels. But first, I wanted to check if my method is viable, so I counted the height of every section leading to 3000 meters checkpoint. My general rule was that each section had to be shorter than 500 meters. Because at the end of each segment, there is this tall room, after which Badaline catapults Madeline, and they have some quick conversation, which adds our remaining distance to the calculation. Here are the results. So it turns out that from the bottom of the reflection segment, Madeline travels upwards 157 meters, and the remaining distance is traveled by Badalin's catapult, which equals 343 meters. Similarly, our protagonist travels upwards 253 meters in Forsaken City, 283 meters in Old Sight, 121 meters in Celestial Resort, almost 300 meters in Golden Reach and 197 meters in Mirror Temple. If we sum up all of these numbers, it turns out that Madeline traveled 1311 meters without Badalin's catapult and 1689 meters flying thanks to her doppelganger. That proves to us that Madeline wouldn't be able to reach the summit without the help of Badalin because she travels most of the distance using her ability to launch her. So yeah, 
he proved that our method is viable, because every section is lower than 500 meters. Now it is time to reach for the summit. Now it's time to finally define the canonical height of the Celeste Mountain. So we start by checking the amount of tiles of the last section. It turns out that this segment is the highest one. It consists of 12,096 pixels, which, according to our assumptions, translates to 1,197.5 meters, which makes the Celeste Mountain over 4 kilometers tall, with the total height of 4,197.5 meters. It turns out that Celeste isn't roughly over 3,000 meters, but over 1 kilometer higher. It is as high as Mount Cook, which is located in Alaska, near Canadian border. So we have it. The total height of Celeste, 4,197.5 meters. It took me so long to figure it out, but I did it. I also went through the trouble of calculating the height of the flag on top of the mountain. And I'm gonna tell you, this is some huge flag. Its in-game height is 58 pixels, which translates to 574 centimeters, almost 6 meters. So yeah, with that out of the way, we can jump to the summary of this entire video. According to my calculations, every pixel in Celeste translates to 9.9 .9 centimeters in real life. The Celeste is 3000 meters plus 12,096 pixels tall, which, if we take my assumptions as correct, translates to 4,197.5 meters and that is the final result. Of course, these calculations are not 100% correct, because I took quite a few approximations, but I tried my best to answer my question. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, or maybe even subscribe, but I can't promise you constant videos. Also, if you have another method, or if you think my assumptions aren't correct, feel free to tell me your thoughts in the comments. And that's it for this video, thanks for watching.